Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. My name is Anne Kinahan. I'm one half of Drink in a Hand Art and my other half is Pete who's um, supposedly supporting me remotely. We are um, continuing today with our um, attempt at painting some figures. Uh, last time we looked at doing um, figures uh, very um, quickly, a very fun, a very easy way of doing them um, on a plain piece of paper and then we attempted to slot them into a landscape and this time I'd like to do um, something a little bit more like this to introduce, um, so instead of just doing them in black to introduce maybe some black and white and then, then in part two of the video um, I'm hoping that we might be able to introduce a little bit of colour, something like something like this. So just to remind ourselves so we'll have um, we'll have a quick go at doing some of these um, some of these practice um, practice figures. Um, so for this um, I'm, I'm I've got a uh, just a flat brush. I've got a piece of paper that um, has been used many times and um, and I've just painted over it in orange and I've just got some black and white but just to do these little silhouette figures um, I just to remind ourselves what we want is a very small circle for a head then we're going to push down hard with the brush go to the um, to the bottom um, and then put in a shadow and that will should give us the impression of a um, of an abstract figure so a little round push down hard with the brush, go down to a point, um, something which indicates some feet and then maybe shadow. Um, do another one, let's make this one a little bit smaller, just a, a circle, small circle for the head, um, make sure the body isn't touching the head, push down hard with the brush, go down to a point, Put in a, a shadow. Try a bigger one, maybe. Oh, done the head too big already. And a blob again. The blo big blob can be any sort of size and shape, and then something to indicate the legs. Maybe like that. And this person's obviously got baggy trousers on. And I'll do one more because that was a bit of an odd one. Okay, little head, something not touching, push down hard and not touching the not touching the head above. Something which indicates feet at the bottom and then a shadow. So um, that's just a way to um, to indicate in silhouettes some pictures. If I had more colours on my palette, and today I've only got black and titanium white, I would be able to um, just perhaps um, turn this black bit here into, um, I could paint over it with some red, and it's quite nice to paint over it while it's um, while it's still wet. This might You might indicate these are sort of winter coats. Um, this person might have a rucksack on someone out with a um, with a rucksack this one might be carrying carrying something but it it doesn't seem to really matter if you were doing a street scene um, this would probably be good enough um, to indicate figures um, walking along in the street so an easy an easy win but now let's try and do something a little bit a little bit more dramatic I'm not very certain about how that works out but um, we'll have a go so I'm going to put this to one side for this I'm going to use uh, um, a wooden panel but you could use anything it could be another piece of paper I think um, I think where I did these figures before um, this was on uh, just on a piece of paper that I've stuck to a wooden panel later on and um, uh, this is a wooden panel with cradled sides 
I think I bought it from um, a UK firm called Art Discount, but you can get them from anywhere, any art suppliers, I think. Again, I've painted the surface orange to give me a bit of a, a bit of a start and in the hope that some of the orange might show through and just give the, um, the painting a little bit of a bit of depth. Again, I'm mostly going to use just this, this one flat brush and just black black um, black acrylic paint and some titanium um, titanium white. Um, so let's see, we're going to apply exactly the same principle. We're going to start with white at the top and um, and colour around that in black. And then we're going to use black at the bottom and colour around that in white with perhaps some of the orange showing, showing through. Here we go, let's see how it works out. So again, a small head. I'm going to do it to one side in case we want to put a second person in. So I'm not sure about that yet, but just a small head. Um, then I'm going to put a bit more paint on the brush and I'm going to push down hard. Don't know what kind of shape's going to come out. Could be anything. And I'm going to change um, to some black paint. And here we go, down to a narrow point, just want some feet of some sort, and a shadow. And today we'll have the shadow going, which way should we have it? How are we going this way? Okay. Now I'm going to paint round the top in black to make that. Um, more dramatic so we want this very wet and it would be quite good I think if some of the orange shows through there we go this makes you think of some kind of American I don't know 1930s nightclub maybe and I think if you keep the paint weight wet it means that you can go on um, changing it So we're going to go down to about halfway here. We're going to blend this a little bit, that's right, that into there. Blend the black into the white halfway up his um, halfway up his or hers body. I'm going to now paint white around the outside down here. Again, very thin, so we can just show let the orange, some of the orange show through. Now with this person, just wondering whether with the white, whether we can now join up the head and maybe have a bit more of a, he could maybe have his hands in his pockets, or something like this. Maybe use my smaller brush now to try and just shape his shoulders a little bit, maybe give him a collar. Again, we don't want him to be too precise because um, it's, it's meant to be abstract, it's meant to be simply just an impression of a person. Now perhaps we could bring some of the black up here just to show he's got some kind of jacket on. Ideally, he would have someone here, um, someone here to talk to. Maybe we can, um, maybe we can just put someone in. Shall I have a go quickly at, at 
putting someone in here again. So another, um, maybe this person's a bit taller, a small head. Um, another push down hard. And um, maybe this person could have his one arm out. Lots of white in there. So I'm going to go down with the black at the bottom. Just join up his head, give the impression he's just looking that way. There. So Definitely not a very precise, um, a very precise painting, um, but I hope you think that begins to give the impression of two figures together, perhaps in a bar or um, you know outside a pub or something like that, and just um, meeting up and just talking. And you can see again, you know, if that was part of a street scene, that would probably be that would probably be good enough. But the idea was a small circle for a head push down hard with the brush, narrow it off and remember to put that shadow in at the bottom and that will usually give the impression of some kind of figure. So in part two of this video we're going to try and do the same kind of thing and we're going to attempt to add a little bit of colour perhaps like this. Okay look forward to seeing you then, thank you.